As a student with ADHD, procrastination is a very normal part of my everyday life. I'll put off an assignment, an errand, basically anything I don't want to do, I'll leave it for later. That's what procrastination is. Here's me enjoying a fresh slice on the first day that I was supposed to work on this project. Now, this isn't a good habit, and I've had this habit for a long time, but I do get my work done. However, many times, whether it be in school or for some other project, I find myself slipping behind and having to do extra work to catch up later. I've always wanted to change this and decided it was time. I couldn't do this, however, without learning more about what procrastination is and why I do it. The first step was to talk to a few of my peers and see how their habits compared to mine. Usually I go on YouTube. I love YouTube. Uh, I'll also just do random things on my phone, text people, I don't know, maybe FaceTime people. Uh, I even like try to set those app limits on, uh, like my iPhone has the app limit setting, it's really cool. The main issue for me is starting. Once I start an assignment I can usually get it done, but like before I start it, it always feels like it's a lot more work than it usually ends up being, so it feels pretty hard to start because I'm like, I have so much to do. Um, so I'll, I'll be procrastinating starting, but once I get started, I'm usually pretty all set. Personally, I don't see a benefit to handing things in really early, because if I hold on to assignments, I can then edit them and work on them, but then often I'll say, oh, I'll edit it, I'll edit it, I'll edit it, uh, later on, and then I never really get around to it. And then by the time it's actually due, I don't hand it in on time or even almost like finish before the deadline. Knowing that my friends shared similar habits was comforting. The next step with this new knowledge was to make a list of habitual changes in order to make myself a more efficient and hardworking person. I would start waking up earlier, specifically going places to do work such as a library or a coffee shop, organizing a to-do list, and setting clear goals for myself. Luckily, I was also able to get the hold of someone who might have a bit more to say. My name is Stephen Shane, and I am a co-director at the Writing and Academic Resource Center here at Emerson College. I also teach in the Writing, Literature, and Publishing Department. I try not to procrastinate, but sometimes um, sometimes I definitely need a, need a bump in motivation to, to get rolling, for sure. The Writing Academic Resource Center does a lot of things. Um, we are kind of the home base for student support on campus. It's really not a surprise to me when students say they feel overwhelmed because often they're they're often overcommitted. They're often they're extending themselves um, pretty far. And so um, I think the first thing I would say to the student is just to talk through the way they're feeling and, and to sympathize with them first and say, you know, make them not feel definitely don't make them feel bad for the way they're feeling, you know. I think that's important is that um, for the student to know that they're not alone in feeling that way and that, that, that the way that they're feeling is often coming from a very relatable place. But often when I feel like I'm procrastinating, it's because I see there's like 40 emails at once to respond to. And then I feel I feel like overwhelmed and I'm like, oh my God. And I, and I kind of disconnect and I find that I have a hard time finding motivation. Even just like coming up with your own personal system, your own tools or habits that um, help you be productive in that sense, you know, whether it's, for me, it's like definitely having a checklist of things and it, and, and that checklist should be manageable. It shouldn't be a checklist in the next week. I've got like a hundred things to do, but if I make a checklist of a hundred things, I'm just going to look at it and be like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, but if I make a list of five things that I know I can do within the next two hours, then that suddenly becomes a much more manageable thing and I'm able to see real progress as it's happening. I was able to make an informed decision on how to change my workflow after listening to the advice of my friends and Stephen Shane. I found the Boston Public Library to be the best place to study. Ornate and quiet, it was the perfect setting. Tons of students working away. I felt like I couldn't procrastinate because I was there for a purpose. Procrastination is still an issue for me, but it's a much smaller one. I've found much more manageable ways to avoid falling into those holes. I 
am now a more efficient, hardworking student. Now, procrastination isn't that big of a deal. What's important here is we all have little flaws, and if we identify them and work on them, we can make ourselves better people, not for ourselves, but for the people around us.